I'm Ken, star expert here at Mercedes-Benz of Stevenage, the AMG Centre for Hertfordshire. And what we have purring away behind me is the AMG GT, specifically the AMG GTR. This family of cars is what I believe to be one of the finest breeds of super sports cars that are out in the market at the moment. It follows the classic GT recipe of a long bonnet, a huge powerful engine underneath it, 585 horsepower in this flavour, and two seats. Perfect for, well, grand touring. Now, any GT has been a head turner since day one, even if it's not finished in yellow like we have here. So the one that we have here is the AMG GTR. Now, this is your track-focused special. So you have a totally new uh, front end there, brand new splitter and a bumper design specific to the GTR that surrounds the uh, AMG grille with the vertical strikes in there. It almost makes it look as if it is floating uh, above the splitter. Coming down the side, you can see these black and silver two-tone AMG wheels. Just behind the wheel arch, you have this air vent here, which lets all that hot air out of the engine bay, helping to keep the engine cool. And heading towards the back, the passenger cabin has a carbon fibre roof on the top to help keep the weight down. And towards the back of the car, you have this massive fixed rear wing and a brand new bumper at the rear with those three exhaust uh, designs there, two in the diffuser to help push the car to the ground. But let's say that you want this performance, you want this power, you want everything GT, but with a bit more practicality. See, what if you don't just want to take one passenger around? Well, AMG have never been afraid to try things that are out of the box, try new things. And that's what we're going to show you with the brand new AMG GT four-door. So to give it its full name, it's the AMG GT 63S Formatic Plus. So what does that mean? Well, it means first and foremost, it sticks true to the GT's formula. Big engine, nice long bonnet, gorgeous sloping coupe roof line. 63, well, that gives you the four litre V8, but more on that later. And as you can see, not just two doors, but four. Room for all of the family, all of your friends as well. With the Formatic Plus system, that gives you drive to every wheel and it allows you to do racing start and it also gives you the option of drift mode should you be on a track. As well as Formatic Plus, this car also comes with four wheel steering as well. So you can see the front wheels are turned one way. At speeds of up to 60 miles an hour, the rear wheels will actually turn in the opposite direction uh, to the front. Think of it as almost making the wheelbase shorter. It gives you sharper turnings. It gives you fantastic maneuverability. Then up at higher speeds above uh, 60 miles an hour, the rear wheels turn in the same direction as the front to give you greater stability when cornering at high speed. And for me, this car is all about contrasts. The first thing that is going to strike you is, of course, the design. Just look at it. It's menacing. It's, it's powerful. It's purposeful. Athletic. It's, it's built. But as well as all of that, I think you'll agree, it's also elegant as well. The lines that are there matter. It's not, it's not cluttered. It's not a fussy design. Yes, you've got two humongous power domes on the bonnet hiding what's underneath, but they're just gracefully sculpted in there. Nice soft lines. One of my favorite parts on the design of the car actually is when you come towards the rear. Over the rear wheel arch, the shoulder line just comes out ever so slightly. When you look at it carefully, it makes it look even wider. It emphasizes the power within. And underneath those broad shoulders sit these 21 inch AMG design wheels, finished here in the titanium grey and diamond cut. At the back of the car, the design all comes together. It all merges gracefully into the rear. Now, with it being an AMG V8, you get the four outlet exhaust pipes there, sitting next to the huge splitter that sucks the car down to the ground when you're at higher speed. And the badges are proudly displayed. You have the V8 by turbo on each side, and at the back, it tells you it's a GT63S. So, that means we need to take a look at the engine. So, GT63S, what does that mean? Well, it's all under here. It means that you get the hand-built masterpiece from AMG. This engine, done by one man from start to finish. 
It's a four litre twin turbocharged V8. You can see the two turbos nestled in between the uh, cylinder banks there. That gives you quicker engine response. There is almost no lag from it. And that gives to the road through all four driven wheels, 630 brake horsepower and 900 Newton meters of torque. It also gives you a 0 to 60 miles an hour time of 3.3 seconds and will push the car on to a top speed of 193 miles an hour. But underneath that vicious exterior, you have a practical car at heart. You have a power opening tailgate, which is able to be opened with a kick motion underneath the rear diffuser. That opens up a huge load bay, which extends back much further than you might originally think. So you've got room for luggage, you have room for shopping, a shovel, golf clubs. And if you've seen any of our other videos, you can easily fit a dog in there. For the first time in a Mercedes AMG GT, you can take four people around with you. This particular one comes with the Premium Plus package, so it's fully loaded. And in the rear, you get, they're almost bucket seats in the back of the car. How fantastic is that? Finished here in the uh, two-tone uh, black and gray leather with Alcantara all the way around. Now these seats, of course, they're heated. And in the center, you have your double cup holder and uh, two USB slots there. Keep your devices nice and charged. You might not quite expect a car that looks as ferocious as it does to have an interior quite this luxurious. I mean, just look at it. Absolutely stunning design again. What will greet you first is the full width widescreen uh, display there. So you get the two large digital display screens on here with your nav, media, and you can also see what the car is doing in real time too. In front of the driver, the steering wheel is fully wrapped in Alcantara. These huge gear shift paddles are behind it so you can take full control of your driving experience. But there's also creature comforts as well. So you have radar guided cruise control and my favorite feature, the head up display. You can control the infotainment screen via the touch sensitive trackpad, which is in the center just here. And flanking it on each side, you can see there are eight buttons relating to uh, the car. And that's purely a design feature. There's four on each side just to make it look like a V8. How cool is that? And the most important button is just down here. As well as being able to control the uh, spoiler and your drive modes, you've got the loud button. It'd be rude not to have it on. We've also got quick selects on the steering wheel to take you through your drive mode. So you've got everything from slippery, comfort, sport, sport plus, and race. You can also configure your own individual drive configuration. As part of the Premium Plus package, that gives you the seat comfort pack. What does that mean? Well, you have ventilated seats as well as heated in the front, and they come with a massage function too. So who'd have thought it? You're in a 630 horsepower, almost 200 mile an hour missile, and you can get from A to B whilst having a massage too. They also come with a feature called dynamic seat. So what that means is the side bolsters will move in, they'll hug you, they'll keep you in place as you are steering. It's a really cool feature. And to top it all off, you get the Burmester high-end surround sound system. There is so much depth and so much clarity to whatever you're listening to through these speakers. The way it looks is one thing, but the way that this car drives is just something else. Now, there's not many cars out there that sort of reprogram my brain for what is possible with four wheels, an engine, and a good stretch of tarmac. And let me tell you, this is it. The delivery from that rocket of a V8, the way that the torque just pushes you along, you ride on a swell of torque as if it's, you know, as if you're surfing on top of a tsunami. Oh, and the noise, the noise, the noise. The car hides its size, it hides its weight. It's not a light car, it tips the scales at just over two tons, but it's got the maneuverability of a fighter jet that's glued to the road. So, this has been the AMG GT 63S. And I think as an all-rounder for a blend of power, performance, styling, but also luxury, and of course the way it drives, it's gonna take some beating. Life is a race. Be the leader. And if you're anything like me and you could spend all day or even the best part of a month just looking, listening, experiencing this car and come on down to Mercedes-Benz of Stevenage, we are the AMG Centre for Hertfordshire. I've been Ken. Thank you for watching.